This video introduces you to how to mount a LENAC baselift system in a kitchen to make it height adjustable. Please read the LENAC baselift user manual carefully before mounting the system. Make sure the floor is clean before you start mounting. For optimal stability of your electric height adjustable kitchen, it is very important that you place the base lifts correctly. The kitchen shown in this video is 2100 mm long and 1200 mm wide. For this size and type of kitchen, we recommend using six base lifts. They must be placed as shown for maximum stability. First, you have to measure and mark where to place the kitchen and the six base lifts. Precise measurements are very important. Place the base lifts on the floor. Place the two CVD-6S control boxes with the cable grooves facing upwards. To achieve the correct performance, you must divide the number of base lifts equally between the control boxes. Plug in the motor cables in the control boxes. It is important that you start using channel number 1, then channel number 2 and so forth. Next, you connect to two control boxes with a serial cable for parallel drive. Then plug in the LENAC service tool in one of the control boxes. Finally, you connect to mains. We recommend you use the cable relief for less strain on the mains cable. You need to initialize the base lift system. You do this by pressing the down key on the service tool once. Within 10 seconds, press the down key again and now hold the down key until the base lifts stop completely. The system has now been initialized. When mounting a kitchen with a wireless control, the next step is to set up the radio frequency desk panel. Unbox your RF receiver, RF transmitter, desk panel and cable. Connect the RF receiver to one of the control boxes. Plug in the cable from the desk panel in the RF transmitter. Activate the reset key on the RF receiver. Keep the reset key activated while pressing a random button on the desk panel. For easier access while mounting the bottom plate, please drive the base lifts to their full stroke. Make sure all base lifts are even in height. If adjustment is needed, adjust the base lifts manually by turning the adjustment foot. On a wooden floor, you can mount the base lifts by attaching the brackets to the floor with screws. If you have floor heating or for other reasons want to avoid drilling holes in the floor, you can consider using glue rather than screws when mounting the base lifts. Place the bottom plate on top of the base lifts. Make sure that no cables are stuck between the base lifts and the plate and ensure that the plate is placed in center. Mount the base lifts with screws. For easy access, mount the control boxes and the RF transmitter close to the front edge. Fix cables by using self-adhesive cable ties. Please drive the base lifts to their lowest position. Now, it is time to mount the kitchen cabinets. Mount the desk panel in the hole in the tabletop.
plug the cable from the desk panel into the RF transmitter. Mount the tabletop. Test to see if the kitchen functions. Now it is time to mount the base. Pin the clips on the brackets. Remove the protective film from the clips and mount the bottom base. For better fixing, you can choose to mount the clips with screws. It is important to keep a bit of space between the top base and the bottom base to avoid scratches when the kitchen is driven up and down. The space can be created by adding felt pads on the back of the top base. To calculate where to fix the top base, you need to take two measurements. First, you measure from the edge to the top base, then add half the width of the base. There you go, now you have a height adjustable kitchen equipped with a base lift system from LENAC. If you have any questions to these mounting guidelines, please see the base lift user manual or contact your local LENAC sales representative. LENAC, we improve your life.